Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 20th of June 2019 and the time has just gone 11.20 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the NASDAQ 100. And starting off at the wider term view, we can see that from late last December last year uh, until May this year, there was a massive rally in the NASDAQ 100 along with global uh, stock markets. The NASDAQ 100 achieved an all-time high in, um, in early May, but then there was a fairly sizable correction and a move to the downside, which lasted for basically about a one month. And then since early June onwards, the NASDAQ 100 has been rebounding and it's all pressed on higher. And the, the, the move in the last, say, 24 hours has really, been, has, has really been predicated on the update from the Federal Reserve last night. A number of the central bankers of the, of the U.S. Central Bank uh, said that the case to have introduced more accommodative monetary policy has strengthened. And that's really boosted the NASDAQ 100, along with other major U.S. indices and also indices uh, in, in Europe. Um, one of the components of Dow theory is that the indices or the averages must confirm each other. And what's significant about this blue line here, the 50 moving average, is that the, the NASDAQ 100 spent a bit of time uh, it acted as both kind of resistance and support recently, and now it appears to have acted kind of as a springboard for the next move higher. And if you quickly take a look at what's going on elsewhere, on the S&P 500, for example, we see a similar situation, whereby we saw a bit of consolidation around its 50-day uh, moving average, and the market is, has, a, has used that as a springboard to push on higher again. So that's the S&P 500. And if you take a look over in Germany, take a look at the, um, what the situation in Germany, very similar situation whereby the market was rebounding from the early from the early to the sell-off in early June. It, it traded above the 50-day moving average, it held above it, and now it's pushed on higher yet again. So now that we've seen the Nasdaq 100 above its 50-day moving average, the S&P 500 above its 50-day moving average, and now the DAX above its, while they all hold above their respective 50-day moving average, we can, we, can become, we can become more confident that this bullish move uh, in stocks is going to continue. And if the NASDAQ 100 continues to press on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting the highs or the all-time highs that were achieved in early May. Um, and if we continue to press on higher from there, we could be looking at heading up towards 7,900 or perhaps even up, up a high as the psychologically important 8,000 mark. Now, if you are going to be trading the NASDAQ 100, just keep an eye out for what's going on in relation to big tech and antitrust issues over the US. There's been concern, some, some concerns and some, some rumblings recently that some of the major industry, major um, tech players, um, Alphabet, Google's owner, or Facebook, or Amazon, or Apple, or these sort of companies have too much power uh, within, the, within the business community. And there has been growing rumblings out of Washington, D.C. that maybe these companies should be looked to actually have to break up. Or, and every now and again, that, that situation um, resurfaces. So if you are going to be trading the NASDAQ 100, please keep keep in mind of that. Uh, if the market does manage to actually drift lower, and we've talked about the upside, but if the market does manage to drift a bit lower, uh, we might see some fresh buyers enter the fold. Uh, keep in mind, it's been, a, it's been in a broadly upward trend uh, for about six months now, so buying on the dip, uh, by and large, in the last six months has been a popular strategy. Obviously, there was a, a downward trend here, but it would appear uh, the fact that it's taken off the highs here, would suggest that the highs of, uh, of June have taken off the highs of mid mid-May, it would suggest we are going to press on higher from here. But if you do have a move to the downside, support can be found from this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes to play at 75.31. And even the support can be, if even a further drift lower, might find some support from this area here in around 7,400. And even down as low as the 100-day moving average, which comes to play at 73.67. Uh, we can see that it acted um, as both support uh, and resistance on, on the, in the last few months and if the metric has acted as, as a support and our resistance recently it makes it more likely it will do so in the future obviously there are no guarantees it's only really if you have a sizable break below this red line here the two day moving average which comes into play at 71.34 could then we be, be worried about this upper this recent upward move in the last month and then then we, we, we could be looking at retesting the lows that were achieved in early june before I go, uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on the reviews. Thank you very much.